Hey all, so I am getting ready to unbox these two beauties. So we have Laguna from the Monster Ball. And you can see all of her art on the box. And we have Draculaura. So yeah, I got the whole Monster Ball. So we'll start with these two. And I also have Cleo and Claudine. And I just think this line was really well thought out and designed. And it just seems very high quality to me in design. So I'm really excited about these dolls. Um, let me show you also, I guess, the back of the box. So this is what both of their boxes look like from the back. So they both kind of show the artwork for um, the main doll in the box on the front with the friends in the back. And so this is on the back of this box. I'd say I like, I so I love box artwork. Um, the one thing like I wish is that there was kind of less of this word detail that could more easily cut out the art and kind of not have this piece here. Um, and also it could have a little bit more of a shinier gloss. Like, it's like, I want to save this artwork, but I don't know if it's uh, done in a way where that would really make sense. But I am still half thinking that I want to keep this artwork, um, which is then crazy with me with boxes. I kind of try to save too many of them, even though I unbox the doll and my closet becomes crazy. So eventually I need to get rid of some boxes. I can't keep them all. Okay, let's actually, get them out of their boxes and show these dolls. So here they both are out of their box. I kind of cleared some space for some of these new Monster High up here because I'm kind of running out of space. Um, I might later on have to figure out like getting a new shelf or something. So right now, like I have these pull-up dolls and you can see I moved some of my pull-up dolls down here for now. We'll see if I'll keep this exact arrangement, but, um, this shelf's kind of looking like this, and I have more of my, my Monster High dolls are on all, all other areas. But um, for now, this will work as a space for the Monster Ball. So um, here is Laguna looking amazing. I just think she's looking gorgeous. I love her freckles and her hair is super long and wavy and um, though it looks like um, you know Mattel often with this kind of more wavy hair it's really low quality this does not feel dry and frizzy this actually seems like decent quality hair though like a little unruly but it still like works I don't think it needs to be like combed through or anything I like it as it is and I just love the colors they've chosen for her hair you see the soft blue and purple and so she has some really um, delicate tinsel in there um, so yeah you have to kind of be careful in what you do with it but i think it does look really good and works really well for this doll her outfit is just fantastic it really kind of makes me think of like 80s which there's been a lot of really fun kind of 80s inspired dolls recently and I just love all the ocean theme aspects of her look. So here we can see, and for me, this is actually my first um, G3 Laguna. So I am enjoying her ears. Um, for me, I, I only have so much space in my room and all the releases, I just don't really see getting every single one of them. Um, so I kind of had to pick my favorites and this just jumped out at me that I needed these dolls. So far from G3, I have Twyla and I have Torlai. Those are characters that I didn't have already. So I kind of jumped on those really fast. So now I have more G3 Monster High to add to my collection. So, so here she has her earrings. I don't know if they're like supposed to be octopus or squid. Almost it looks kind of like a sea snake, maybe a necklace. Um, you can see on there. And um, yeah, all the materials feel like you know decent quality materials. I love 
all the different layers and fabrics. I just feel like this is just super well done. I am just loving it. I love mermaid scales. You can do that any day and just give it to me over and over and I will love it. So then she has this little bracelet and I love this flower in her hair. I just think it really gives like pop to the whole look. And here are her legs, which are so fun. I love her cute little feet. And here are her shoes. I haven't, I'm not really able right now to take off the rubber bands that have like a hand injury. Um, so she'll keep those rubber bands for a while, but that's okay. But um, these shoes are amazing. Um, look how it looks like a coral reef, her shoes. They're just absolutely amazing. So yeah, the sad things that don't come with a stand, these stands I got a long time ago on Amazon, like a whole bunch of them for like a good price. And they worked for the G1 Monster High. So luckily they work as well for these girls. So that's great. So I was prepared. Um, so all the little bits and pieces that she comes with, she has this ladle and this like cauldron type thing, which is really cool. She has this nice little purse that's like a seashell and it actually opens and you could put her little lip gloss inside that has like a thumb hold for her to hold it and actually like opens as you can see it's kind of coming open and here she has little goblets so it's so nice that like you have all these decorative pieces for kind of a display um oh laguna's one so yeah and then it's, this is like a cardboard print image of her and her friends Oh, it's interesting in her one um in her one draculaura is not in the picture and let's see i'm curious yeah so draculaura is all the girls in the picture i almost forgot to show laguna's little masquerade um, thing that you can hold kind of on a stick to cover on her face so she also comes with that piece too so many fun accessories so my kids might end up being playing in the background. I think I kind of stopped and restarted that uh, don't hear them so much. Um, it's the weekend and they're playing. Um, but yeah, so here we have Draculaura and she looks so gorgeous. And these bangs are done so well. Like so many times, especially Mattel, I feel like doesn't always do a great job with bangs. I mean, obviously, um, G1 dolls are really, I mean, Monster High, I feel like they've done a good job of these type of things. So um, I'm really happy with this Draculaura. So here are her earrings. They kind of look a little bit like hearts with bats on the top and they're pink and loving her ears. And I think her makeup just really goes so well with this ensemble and her little black heart on her cheek. And then this is her outfit and you can see she kind of has this black necklace with a heart on it and just all the details. I just love the multi-layered fabric and there's even tulle in between these two layers and then tulle on the lowest layer and she even has pink fishnets that are so cute and they have some sparkle to them and these are her shoes with black hearts on them. They are just so adorable. The shoes on these dolls look great. And I love the length of her hair. I was so excited that, was it Dawn of the Dance Draculaura that had a huge bow on the back? I don't have that doll. Um, but so it's so nice that they made a doll again that has this big pink bow in the back, which is just spectacular. I just love it. And she then also has a matching plastic glittery black bow um, that holds up her, I feel like it's a little bit of glitteriness, maybe not, maybe not so glittery, but holds up the bun on the top. I think she's a really fun, unique hairstyle. Her hair for me feels a little bit more dry, but not horribly so. I don't know if it's partly just um, trying to add that texture and just a little bit like matted where, you know, if you're a perfectionist, you might want to like, I don't know, wash it and comb it or something. Um, but I'm still very happy with it. And yeah, she has some of this, um, a little bit of this fine tinsel through it. And yeah, the kind of black, more with pink streaks. 
So she is just looking so adorable. And yeah, so this, she also has a heart bag with kind of like a bat clasp. And it also opens, and here you can see she has a little pink bracelet even, all the jewelry. And she has another, it's oh, it's like um like a flower corsage that's black on her wrist. And I'm just loving all the details with these girls. So here are all her little items. She has this chocolate fountain with a skull on top. And she has this um, bouquet of black roses. And I guess this bow can pop off. It's like clipped on. And she has this little, um, this little tray of chocolate covered strawberries that's just kind of like a painted molded detail and she has her own lip gloss too that could go in her bag and has a little thumb clasp oh, and here is a little picture that draculora comes with with her and the whole gang which is super cute so these are my two first of the monster ball dolls I have two more to unbox to kind of join the girls up here. And we'll have to see how I figure out like furniture and arrangement of kind of make them a little bit more cute up here, kind of creating a scene. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and let me know which are your favorite from the G3 Monster High.